Are the rumors true? Are Fesley guitars the very best guitars on Amazon? Let's crack one open and find out. I've been seeing these pop up on channels like Scar My Guitar and Zim's, friend of the show, Zim's Guitars. And when they hit me up, I was like, yeah, I gotta check these things out. I've been hearing that they're pretty great, but we're gonna find out together if any of that is true. We've got a gig bag here. And actually got a decent looking cable in the bag. Nylon strap, instruction manual. Hopefully it'll teach me how to play guitar. <laughs> I checked this morning and on Amazon, these are currently listed at 159, I think, down from 179, 175, somewhere in that territory. This is gonna be their single cut LP style guitar. Pretty standard lightweight style gig bag here. No bells or whistles, but it is a place to put your guitar as you move it around the world. <laughs> we got a silica gel pack and it's a big one. Mmm. I like that. That's not a snack. That's a meal. Here we go. Let's take a look at what we have here. We have a guitar that really wants you to know <laughs> what brand made it. We've got Fesley on the headstock. We've got Fesley at the 12th fret as an inlay. We've got Fesley printed on each covered humbucker here. Uh, we've got Fesley on the back of every single tuner. They are leaning into their branding. I don't hate it. It's good for a builder to be proud of their name and proud of their identity. You spend all that money on a logo, might as well show it off, right? All right, so we've got kind of like an open grain, raw wood feel to the neck. It's not raw, it definitely has some sort of very thin clear coat over it to seal it in. Three by three headstock. I don't hate the logo, I don't hate the headstock shape. I don't hate the logo, I don't hate the headstock shape. Kind of a fun little stair step right there. I haven't seen that before. A lot of times cheap guitars that you find on Amazon and whatnot have embarrassing headstocks. And I don't feel like this one's embarrassing. It's classy. Neck shape feels very comfortable and modern, not too small, not too big. The ends of the frets feel and look decent. Nice shine on those frets too. I like the uh, the little open hole inlays on this. That's classy. Kind of reminds me of the St. Vincent. It's got those uh, eclipsing circles on there. Comfort cuts on the body. We've got a bolt on neck. Classy looking binding around the edge. Flat matte finish on the flat top here. I don't mind that burst at all. I did request the pink one and they said they didn't have enough in stock to make it worthwhile, uh, but there is a pink one. So you can go look that up. There's also a black one as well. Very interested to hear these humbuckers. They are covered like they are intended to be actives. They're trying to do an EMG thing, but I do not believe that they will be actives. I don't see a battery clip here. Uh, that wasn't in the description that I read. Maybe I'll be surprised, but I, I highly doubt it. Got black hardware throughout. It looks very classy. I mean, for under 200 bucks, first impressions are strong. I'll have to plug it in and see what it sounds like first though, before I give any real full impressions of this guitar. <laughs> tuned up and ready to explore. I will say that the tuners feel just fine. They're not extravagant in any sort of way, but they're nice and smooth. There's no sticking or jumping or dead spots or anything like that. They're fine, they're great. No reason you need to swap those out unless you have some sort of extreme 
tuner personal preference. Let's check out some of the basic controls and stuff. We've got a three-way switch here. I'm assuming down is the bridge position. Ooh, <laughs> there's a little bit of heat on that pickup. I might actually need to lower that pickup on the treble side. It is uh, pushing pretty stiff. Yeah, that's a little better. All right, then the middle position. And the neck position. I'm gonna lower the treble side on the neck as well. Getting a little bit too spicy for me. Yeah, that's better balanced now. They just came with the pickups a little bit too high on the treble side and I could feel it just cutting and punching a little bit too aggressively for my own personal taste. I mean, you might like that sort of thing. Do whatever you want. All right, let's get into it. I gotta say right off the bat, it feels really well dialed in and comfortable. Like the action isn't crazy low, but it's not like cheap guitar high. It's not floating off the fretboard ridiculously. It's pretty close to where I would set up a guitar for my own comfort. I have a feeling that if I wanted to, I could drop it down to be a little bit faster if I was a shredder, but I'm not, so I'm not going to. There's a little room on there to tweak the truss if you wanted to go flatter. Let's see if I can find any dead frets. Nothing on the B string. Oh, I think we're out of the woods. Yeah, I don't think dead frets are gonna be a problem here. They gonna sound nice and clear. cheap guitars the nut can be cut too high causing you to pull out of tune in the lower frets here the cowboy chord area and I'm not hearing any of that like so far I'm getting a really good impression of this guitar it might be true the rumors the tales might be true this might be <laughs> like I don't know about best I mean that's pretty hyperbolic but I you know Sub 200 bucks, I'm gonna say that uh, this is looking very promising for a sub $200 Amazon guitar. And when I start throwing gain at the pickups, we'll see if they're microphonic. I mean, a lot of times guitars in this price point just are. It's just part of the territory that you travel in if you're gonna buy guitars at this price point. But I don't know. They might not be. Yeah, I'm not hearing any sort of excessive noise or anything like that when I impact it. Let's tune it all the way up again just to make sure it's precise and I'll you know, start throwing gain at it. Seems 
to be holding tune well right out of the box. No big adjustments there. All right, let's throw some gain at it and see how it handles some light overdrive. We are on the bridge pickup. the bright character of these pickups. A lot of time on cheap guitars, they can be kind of murky and muddy. I'm actually getting quite a bit of highs out of this to the point where I'm like, oh man, maybe I should turn down the highs on my stuff, on my pedals and the amps and whatnot. there didn't I yeah I like how clear and crispy it sounds I would rather a guitar err on the side of bright and allow me to dial that back through my pedals or my amps or whatnot than have it be murky because when it's murky you can't get that brightness naturally it's never going to sound the same adding brightness into a murky guitar. So I'm happy. I actually really am that it's got a bit of that bright kind of like piercing twang to it. I wonder what kind of magnets they're using in these pickups. It's probably not anything special. Or maybe it is something very special. I don't know. All right. Uh, let's check out the knobs. See what those do. I'm assuming it's either going to be volume, tone, tone, or it's going to be volume, volume, tone but I'm pretty positive that's gonna be a tone knob. That's right. Now, is this gonna be a secondary tone knob? Nope. That is the volume for the bridge pickup. So that means we can do like, or if you want to, you can dial one to be lower output than the other. heavy gain now high gain and see if it feeds back and does anything microphonic on us hello test that with the delay hello a little bit but not too crazy hey that sounds pretty normal you usually get a little bit i'm not hearing it let's just stack gain i got three overdrive circuits stacked together now let's see what happens Oh, by the way, <laughs> I forgot to mention, I am running into the two Princeton's rig. But yeah, not getting any microphonic feedback just yet. Put it on the bridge now. If it was gonna do it, it would have done it just now.
pretty good test. If it was gonna feed back microphonically in the bad way that you don't want, it would have done it just then. I was stacking both sides of the 50-50. That's two DOD 250 circuits stacked into each other. And I had the Wampler Bell stacked into those. Three overdrive circuits at the same time. Tons of gain. Many, many, many other sub $200 guitars that I've covered on this channel have had very microphonic pickups that feedback way before three overdrive circuits stacked on top of each other. So I've, I've, I'm impressed. I'm impressed right now. Actually, maybe we should put together a couple pedals just for this guitar on the table here. Try to build a rig specifically for that guitar. This is not something I normally do in guitar demos, but here I am. I'm just running with it. I had the thought. I had the impulse. It's my own channel. I'll do whatever I want. And so this is what I'm going to do. I've got a bunch of pedals set up here now just for this guitar. I put together a rig just for the Fezley, the Feasley, however it's pronounced. We've got ourselves a pitch effect with the pitchfork. Then we've got a phaser from the JHS3 series. Then I have the Rev G8 noise gate. Why do I have a noise gate? Because I'm stacking a metal zone, get in the zone, metal zone, into a Catalan bread, dirty little secret deluxe. So this is acting like an amp and this is pushing into the amp. And of course, those are gonna be very noisy. So they are both running in the loop of the noise gate here. Then that is running into the DOD rubberneck analog delay because there's plenty of brightness going on here. We can afford a murky, dark, soulful analog delay. And we've got the white whale because I just demoed it the other day and I wanna have some more fun with it. <laughs> All right, here is that dry signal. Let's start having some fun. Might as well start with the metal zone, right? Ah, oh, listen to that. That noise gate is working perfectly. nasty. <laughs> some pitchfork in there. some delay going. I can tell that noise gate is doing a lot of work. Yeah, there's some buzz going on.
this was supposed to prove other than the fact that I'm I'm actually having a pretty good time <laughs> playing this guitar usually I find something wrong right that's what we're used to around here it's me finding something wrong come on there's got to be something wrong the nut seems to be cut really well. All the frets are nice and flush with the end. No, uh, no biting or grabbing at my soft, delicate skin. The pickups sound good. They're not microphonic at all. I mean, like stacking these guys. There's a lot of noise in the signal, but any feedback is the strings feeding back. This should be going crazy if it had microphonic pickups. It honestly, like it, it, it plays really nice. I'm gonna unplug all this nonsense and go back into my main board again. Let's try it with my True Spring Reverb set up to be a very surfy, drippy reverb. Yes. I can't find anything wrong with it. <laughs> I 
I'm looking. I mean, there, you know, everything is subjective. You either like this style of guitar or not, but I cover a lot of budget guitars around here. I really do. A lot of stuff that lands in that, let's call it like 175 to 325, 350 sort of price range. This, this is at the top of the stack. This is up there with the Ertz and whatnot. Because there's nothing wrong with it. It plays great out of the box. The only thing I had to do is lower the pickups a little bit because they felt a little spicy on the treble side. But the pickups sound great. They're not microphonic, which is a rare thing to run across these days in this price point. I've covered a lot of guitars that have pickups that just squeal under high gain, even in bedroom level situations. The tuners are good. The nut seems to be cut really well. Uh, I didn't have any issues going in and out of tune in the cowboy chord area, or, you know, like it, it, it's held tuned this whole video, really. I checked up on it a little bit here and there, but it, it really was doing great as far as tuning goes. All the hardware seems solid. There's no technical issues, like it doesn't ground or something like that. The neck feels comfortable. It's got that raw wood sort of feel, open grain. The frets are trimmed well and dressed nicely on the edges. I mean, the looks are subjective. I don't mind it. I think it looks kind of slick. It's not typically my style of guitar, but for a double humbucker, single cut sort of thing, I think it looks great. It's also light. Let's weigh it. The old fish scale here. Let's find out. 7.1 pounds. Right on the edge of just being a seven pound guitar. It's great. The legends are true. I don't know what else to tell you. I was hoping for some drama, some excitement to be like, well, actually here's the issue here and there. And here's why, why maybe you shouldn't buy this. This is the sort of guitar that would be an excellent no brainer for a new electric guitarist. The price is there. It's an easy player. There's nothing here that's gonna get in the way of a new player. Or it's like, you just wanna add a double humbucker guitar to your quiver, you're already pretty experienced. You wanna do some weird modifications or something like that. You want something that's low cost so you feel fine leaving it around the house, around the kids, or taking it you know, on a trip or something like that. Or you just like it, or you just like it. I, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> so anyways, huge thanks to Feasley, Fesley for sending this out to me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting to this point in the video. I can't even find like cosmetic issues or anything like that. I keep looking at the binding. Like, is there going to be like a weird hiccup in the finish or something like that? But it's, it seems like it's great. So huge thanks for watching and making it to the end. Please, please click all the links down in the description. I'll have links to all the pedals I use here. And of course, the guitar. Uh, affiliate links help me make a living around here. So I do appreciate it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me a rude, nasty comment. Support us on Patreon. Buy a shirt if you're naked. And stay grounded. Bye, everybody.